a very interesting democratic experiment, the first of its kind at the level of the European Union, 200 citizens randomly selected throughout the 27 member states. They are going to discuss on the future of Europe and express their opinions about what the future of Europe should be. Citizens, what they are doing now here is to formulate recommendations uh, for the uh, for the conference, recommendations on European democracy, and uh, recommendations on uh, values and, and 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 the rule of law in, in the European Union. So that are two key uh, issues: how it works or doesn't work European democracy, how we form, uh, do we uh, need to reform the European democracy, uh, what to do with uh, yeah, situations like in uh, in Poland and Hungary. All this is debate now by, by, by the citizens. It's very exciting because what we are already witnessing with their orientations from the last session is that there's a lot of democratic imagination. They're coming up with all sorts of proposals that are important for the EU about non-discrimination, about dialogue around the rule of law. And indeed what's interesting for professors, for academics is they don't necessarily conform to the kind of mainstream opinion. They have their own ways of saying things. Esperienza nuova, unica, una forma di democrazia che non mi aspettavo e che spero che continui. Spero che l'Unione Europea crei queste interazioni con i cittadini. Well, I hope has come out is that all the different views from citizens in the EU uh, is really being heard to the politicians and the European Parliament and so on and they really do something with it because sometimes I feel that the gap between citizens and the politicians and all the EU people is quite big. On espère que nos recommandations seront quand même prises en compte, qu'on n'ait pas fait tout ça pour rien et qu'on soit entendu par les élus. Vedo anche i giovani molto propensi e partecipi. Eh, abbiamo tante idee, tanta voglia comunque di dire la nostra perché solitamente le persone giovani non sono tanto ascoltate. Invece in questa conferenza i giovani sono quelli che hanno maggiormente la parola e questo è molto bello perché sicuramente andremo a delineare un'Europa eh, futura che sarà la nostra. Quindi penso che sia anche importante capire che cose i giovani vogliono e che cosa ritengono che sia importante cambiare. I think everybody felt very proud and optimistic seeing the recommendations they worked on all weekend up on the big screen uh, to be voted on. And I think there's a hope that they'll be listened to and not just dismissed. And there's a hope that this will actually be, you know, continued, I think, with, with further experiments of the same kind. So I think it's interesting that they really explicitly want to have more power and more say in their government and uh, for the recommendations to have some kind of normative impact as well and to even have some kind of say in a future constitution for the European Union. It's fantastic to see so many uh, people around here. We are an academic institution, but we don't want to be a closed shop. We don't want to be an ivory tower. We want to be open to the citizens, and this is a very good example of what we can do. The big question is, is there room for some kind of participatory democracy at the European level? I think this uh, exercise shows, yes, that there is potential. Our role, our modest role in uh, welcoming uh, this panel played a, a positive role in the process and that's important.